we have another game that has just finished in the exact same result, which is draw. We have uh, Santosh Virid and Nizabek um, Abdustarov here with us. They agreed to show us their game. Um, thank you, and please uh, make yourself comfortable. Yeah. I mean, the first surprise was D5. I mean, he, yeah. he has played this, but usually in this tournament, he, had, he was playing B6. Mm -hmm. So after D5, I thought for a while, I wanted to play some opening, uh, which I know well, at least, in this situation. So mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, Catalan have played like more than 100 games. And okay, it's pretty much standard theory. Yeah. And, uh I've played uh, this position many times in my speed chess championship match with uh, Wesley. I thought he, he might have checked that and he might be prepared, but okay, in general the position doesn't change much. It's some similar uh, plans. Okay, it's pretty standard, you put the knight on b4. I mean, I was not sure if e5 is really good or not. Yeah. Maybe you can wait with this. Rook d7, yeah? Uh, yeah, or something else, I mean. Yeah, it was interesting to play rook d7 and double the rook on d file, but... Uh, I mean, after this, I thought I'm slightly better, for sure. Yeah. Because it's not easy now to somehow get play. Yeah. Bishop f6. Initially, I wanted to play bishop e4 and go and for queen f3, queen f5, but it doesn't okay. really have a threat in the uh, end. Rook d1, yeah. Yeah. And also... And now you have some b5 ideas. Exactly. We thought of... Uh, yes, you have some b5 and I felt it was a pre bit premature. Yes. So I thought, okay, just wait. How can black improve his position? Maybe you can just exchange the rooks in this position. But then you have... Bishop e4, after rook takes, takes, rook d8, rook d8, queen d8, and bishop e4. Yeah, I mean, it's a normal yeah. position. But also, here you had b5 actually. Did you consider this? No, I didn't check this. No, this was interesting because if I take, take, and if rook d8, rook d8, knight a5, then you have knight c2. Rook c1. Rook c1, knight e3. Ah, knight e3, yeah. Queen e3, queen f5. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And after knight c2, rook e2 is a move, but it looks a bit suspicious. Can you repeat? Or? Yeah, I guess you just go your... Knight c2 again. Knight c2, yeah. There's nothing, yeah? Knight c6? Uh, no, we didn't check it. Or rook d3? Ah, no. no. Rook d3, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. But it should be... Knight I mean, a3, knight c4 looks fine, yeah? Yeah. Um, and if I take this, you take on d1. Yeah, and b2. Queen d1 thing. and probably bishop b2. So I have to take rook d8, rook d8, and knight, knight a3. a3. Yes. Yeah. And now Three. you had queen e5. Queen e5? Knight b5. No, one second. What was it? Knight d3? Probably. Yeah. Knight three. Knight b five, queen b six. Yeah. Knight d four. Queen takes. No, knight takes. Probably doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Rook d eight, rook d eight, knight a three. Yeah. But I mean, at least at every move, I have to calculate if you can get yeah, b five or not. Why doesn't it work? By the way, just to verify. This takes. Um, takes knight a three. Yeah, the line we just checked here. If I take knight b2 and bishop d4 and rook b8. No, this no, is this bad. Is yeah, it's losing, yeah? It's not, I don't know if it's losing, but it's definitely bad. I mean, I just pushed. A4. D6. A3. D7. Okay. It looks uh, very dangerous. It's um, between queen e8 and bishop b4. <laughs> Maybe queen e7 here is winning also. Okay. Put bishop d5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this also looks strong. But I mean, uh, the point was that black has b5 at every move, which I have to consider. So yeah. when you play rook e8, I was kind of happy that after rook c1, I don't have to calculate b5. <laughs> because <laughs> if, if he plays this, I mean, I have always yeah. have 96. It's important to enjoy the small things in life. Yeah. <laughs> 
but Bishop E7 looks strange. I mean, I don't know what's 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 the point of Bishop E7. Bishop E7. I I want to transfer my knight to F6 and put my bishop to B4. Bishop. What's the point again? Uh, sorry. To transfer my knight to F6 uh -huh. and put my bishop to B4. Yeah, which seems like a good plan uh, and uh, seems to to work. And, uh, and there was this idea of bishop b4, but I didn't like knight d5. Knight d5? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you go knight f6. It looks a bit dangerous, but probably it's similar to the game. Yeah. yeah. Maybe my bishop on b1 is better than uh, on f3. So, so this was an idea, but I thought rook d8 is very nice. I was expecting him to take actually, knight d5 is probably a, an in, inaccuracy. But in the other line with bishop b1, maybe it, uh, it doesn't have to play bishop b4, right? Maybe he can take on d1. Ah, yeah, take on d1 and b5. Yeah. Always, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Just exactly. Some yeah, you're right. So, rook takes d8. Yeah. Rook d1. Yeah. Knight d5 and... Yeah, maybe knight d5 is inaccurate. Yeah, take and... It's probably take, better to take, take. take. Queen d8, maybe. Queen e2. <coughs> but now you win a lot of tempos compared to the game. Now you have, I think, e4. e4 yeah. Yes. E4. Ah, no, there was something which I didn't like. I think it was uh, your knight a6. Knight hmm. c5. Preparing knight c5. Yeah. And you go bishop b4 and knight c5, and you get some counterplay. I think yeah. this is the cleanest way to make a draw. The bishop b4. Did you hear it, Dina? To make a draw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did hear that, although uh, it doesn't seem so. Um, uh, how to say? So um, but convincing. The, to be to fair, me. in the analysis, she managed to outplay me a few times. So bishop yes. b1. Bishop after uh, now, here. There's some queen c2 ideas. Yeah. So probably it's better to take this. This. Mm -hmm. B5. I don't know. But somehow knight d5 looked suspicious. Because queen c2 is, I think, a good move. Because I stopped knight b6. Yeah, knight b6 was great. Yeah. yeah. Because initially I wanted to play rook d3. But then knight b6 knight is b6. just draw on the spot. So I thought, okay, queen c2 will keep the game going. Queen c2 is a move I really like. And, uh, yeah, I thought I'm actually clearly better now. but Queen f5 uh, is a really it powerful work, idea. Yeah. I mean, well, there is a critical moment that we have to to understand. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, yeah. taking this is of course bad because n then I get bishop to b3 yeah, and knight b5. Yeah. Bishop b4 is good move. I initially yeah. missed that he can just go queen e8, like for example. Uh -huh. I mean, I thought after queen e5, when I saw this from afar, I thought I was uh, having a very good edge, but okay, he can go back queen e8. Uh -huh. And in this position, I could not find a way to improve. So uh, in our analysis, right after black played the move bishop e7, or let's say after the move knight d5, we, we played the, we played the, the same, moves, we predict all the moves. Like yeah. at this position, we played against each other. I played queen c2, knight f6, queen f5, bishop b4. And here I suggested knight e5. I don't know if it's good, but you said bishop d6, right? Yeah. And uh, well, the point was, uh, Okay, if you don't play this move, then bishop e2 is quite a nice threat. Also, uh, also take take and bishop d6 is also possible. Take and bishop? d6. No. Ah, sorry. Rook you takes take d1, yeah. yeah. Bishop d1 and bishop d6. Yes. This, this was and also possible. And in this case, if I go back... Then bishop b4. And say Bishop b3, queen d7. And you're in time. Yeah. Although this looks suspicious. Slightly suspicious, I would say. Um, let's say I go back somewhere. I mean, the knight and is really queen, annoying. Queen d5. No, queen d3, no? 
I mean, Here maybe I don't know what he's doing with white. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's say queen somewhere else. But this Probably pawn is uh, weak, yeah. No, queen d7 should not be allowed <coughs> somehow. Yeah. That was the problem, that he always goes queen d7. And if knight g4, this is a draw? Of no. course. Yeah? Of course, true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, dead draw, yeah? This position, there is nothing. I mean, black is not better, but... Yeah. So knight c4, you go back and there is no, no way to make progress. There's just not enough time. Uh, that's a pity. I hope to find something, but... Uh, yeah, in this position, I was considering a lot of plans. I mean, if I get e4, e5, I'm clearly doing uh, well. Yeah. But I'm just falling a tempo short. Yeah? Queen d7, uh, as was shown by Dina. Yeah, queen d7. And, and later on was outplayed also, almost. Yes. So, I, almost. if I play g4, it's the same story. Queen f4 is an option, but then queen e7. Yeah, right? yeah. queen e5. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't see... Okay, I was considering to take take and play queen e5. Yeah. Queen and knight d7, I thought. Probably queen e7. Mm -hmm. Probably knight c5. Bishop c6? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. You have to be careful, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say queen a7. So queen a4 might have been a little bit more uh, annoying for black? Or? But I thought he just goes knight e8, knight d6. Ah. And after this, I didn't see what to do. Knight on d6 is perfect. It defends all the weak pawns, b7 and f7. Yeah, and, and exchange it. And it's not hard to knight. see knight eight. I think when the position would have come, he would have played knight eight. So yeah, it's not really hard. So uh, I don't know. It looks very nice. It looks pleasant, but black is just too solid in this position. Would you think Carlsen would find an idea here for white? No, no actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. When I see him playing these kind of positions, he always finds this small move that has some trick to it or some chance but yeah but this position might be already too too close because black is always in time with this uh, rook d1 id8 or bishop d6 stuff yeah so and then the end game after queen e5 so yeah, yeah. here maybe b5, b5 yes b5 knight a3 knight a3 and here, maybe. Bishop e5. Bishop e5. Yeah. No, but I will take uh, b takes a4. First, you play like king f3, bishop e5. I have trick bishop b2. Ah, okay. But I can play knight c4 here. Probably knight d7. Yeah, okay, draw, yeah? yeah. 95. 95. 95. Yeah, I mean, anything, yeah. yeah this yeah. is cleanest way to make a draw. Yeah, yeah B5. Probably. Yeah. Instead, King of 8 and F4. Now it's slightly unpleasant for black. 94, King of 3. And, I mean, all the moves are very natural by both players, yeah? There, there's not much to say. The knight goes to F5 and cannot be prevented. And... Um, King of 8. Yeah. King F8 was played in the game. Yeah. And then King E2. No, I didn't. Oh, sorry. That was just. After so this, he offered a draw. After and I saw that Sam had already drawn the game. Yeah. Actually, he was supposed to lose, but okay. I was losing, yeah? He, According no, I mean, to us. we found some nice uh, move for white. Do you want to try to see it? Uh, it's very easy. Sure. Yeah, but please uh, make sure that uh, Vidi doesn't see the move before you're showing the, him the position. So okay. Vidi should perhaps just uh, okay. uh, do not look so at the screen while you are... No, no, it's okay. It's not so... You can such, do training uh, mode. Yeah, it's okay. It's not that difficult for, for anyone. So here, Sam played knight b7. I was thinking rook d4. Exactly, and now... Uh, yeah, now Sam played queen g7. Apparently both players did not uh, consider this uh, move uh, seriously. Uh, yeah. Neither uh, Bogner nor Shankland. 
Yeah, clearly Bogner didn't consider it because he's playing here with white. Uh, is Queen is on yeah. winning? I mean, I, I mean, we, we I don't see it. Is it winning? We are threatening Bishop B7 and Bishop C6, and maybe Knight A5 is the way, but we didn't consider Knight A5. But the point mm -hmm. is that all the captures fail immediately. All the captures are losing on the spot, and Knight C5 as well. So probably after Knight A5, it should be close to to loss. Yeah. Mm. Knight A5. What happens? I mean, this is the only move. Yeah. And uh, Sam actually saw it as a black, but he. Uh, miss that uh, after rook. Oh no no, it's a different line. No no, this move he didn't see. He missed queen. He missed rook d4 and the fact that here there's bishop b7. Yeah, but that's the point of rook d4. Yeah, <laughs> he saw rook d4 and missed bishop b7, but that's a different line. Yeah, and here we didn't look at knight a5, but it should be close to winning, um, intuitively speaking. But how do you play? Um, if I go bishop g4, you want a 5, yeah? Mm -hmm. I don't have a choice. So does black have an idea in this position? Maybe I go h4? Our favorite move. <laughs> My favorite move, yes. Mm -hmm. um, this feels much better, but I don't know if it's winning. Queen f8? Queen f8, yeah. I go back and then to f4. Uh, I guess it's just a normal position. Yeah, it's, it's clearly. But are you threatening rook e7 or queen e7? <laughs> there is no threat of queen f8. <laughs> Probably in threatening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is no threat. Uh, queen e7 is pretty nice. Yeah. So uh, maybe we can ask uh, one question about your own game. Um, so. We don't have much to say about the middle game. We didn't uh, cover it too uh, closely. But uh, let's ask about this position here after King of 8. You mentioned that you saw that uh, Sam uh, uh, finished his game with a draw. And uh, having been the leader by four points, a draw would secure you a win uh, with a round to spare. Uh, is this a consideration in this position? Of course, yeah. I mean. He offered me a draw in this position. Initially, I thought I'm quite better, but I I started to think, okay, what what's my next move? And it's not so easy. I mean, bishop c2, knight e1, always. And if I play bishop e2, there is knight c1, bishop c4, b5. And he starts exchanging pawns on the queen side. Mm -hmm. So I can't really move my bishop. So the only plan is to play e4, because knight is ideally placed on f5. It cannot get better. So if I play e4, I think f6. And how do I continue? Mm -hmm. and it's uh, not so easy. Yeah. And if if I play king e2, which is probably more precise, but then knight b4, e4, yeah. f6. Really hard to make and progress. Yeah, he'll go bishop b6, bishop c7. The thing is, in in a dream world, even if after I get e5, for example, he'll take take, and he can always go king f7. And my king is too misplaced and my bishop is too misplaced to aim for something. I mean, the same bishop on e6, okay, I can try maybe. But it's not so tough for black. And I thought, okay, why not to just secure the tournament victory? It's not like I'm having a huge advantage yes. anyways. So. And, uh, okay, the last question. It was a practical decision. Uh, last question is for both of you, but it's a question in a follow-up. Yeah. There is a new plague in this tournament. It's called the bishop b5 check against the Grunfeld. It was played both on Bogner's uh, board and on the Georgiadis versus Maxudlu yeah, game. Yeah. And nobody plays knight c6. They all know it's the right move, but nobody plays it. So yeah, Sam, they're playing for win. Yeah, yeah. But it's known that bishop d7 is slightly better for white. Both yeah. players, I mean, we didn't speak to Param, but Sam says to have uh, been aware of it. And uh, it seems like he regrets his dec decision from uh, how we spoke about it in the interview. And I assume that you kind of uh, don't uh, feel too proud of 97 uh, the other day. So my question is not about this position, but as a general advice for the, let's call it for, for every chess player at any 
let's call it tournament level, who plays a low-rated opponent. Uh, how would you recommend people to play when they want to avoid a draw or play for a win and stuff like that? So this is a question for both of you. Feel free to take it where, wherever you want because there is no real uh, correct answer. I think there are two kind, two approaches. One is to like gamble and play something offbeat, but then you risk. And one is to just play normally, and if your opponent gives chances, you take it. Normally here means knight c6 and just. Uh, I mean, yeah, but it's yeah. you know against a decent player, um, it's not really easy to win from a completely dead equal position. So. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's why people play all kinds of openings, uh, like for example, after d4, there's Benoni and stuff like that. But yeah, of course, you, but then you start with a worse position and yeah. you have to be ready for that. So yeah. it's a two-way street and it's yeah. not an easy choice. I played knight d7 thinking that, okay, I'll complicate, but I regret it later on. So mm -hmm. it, And sometimes it works. For example, I played the Dutch against uh, Sebastian in the Rapid. Yeah. So, I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you think, uh, Nadir Beck? Uh, I think that you should play like normally and play your openings and somehow in the middle game you should outplay your open opponents. So first equalize and yes. only then uh, only. try to outplay your opponent. Yeah. And if it's a position like the one we saw uh, and the opponent makes a forced draw, then uh, like it's not a must-win situation, just a normal game. You're just playing against someone. Just imagine the group of your repertoire and uh, your opponent is a lower rated. Uh, yeah, like 100 to 200 points difference and they play and they seem to know the theory. So uh, would you advise like the, let's call it the players who want to be, uh, let's call it uh, close to professional one day to just play their normal lines and if, if the opponent forces the draw just let it happen and continue with the next game or, you know, sometimes try to... <laughs> <laughs> to show how confident Outplay you are. Someone, mm -hmm. one of the two. So, like, what is your, um, let's say, uh, taste uh, for, for dealing with such situations? What would you prefer? Well, I, I don't play this for Asia sides. Yeah. And I can't recommend in this position nothing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so generally speaking, these are the two approaches. Each one has to pick an yeah. approach, know what's the approach, and just follow it. Stick to it. Yeah, there are some people who would never play like completely crazy lines, and we know. I mean, they, it's not their style to do it. Mm -hmm. But there are some people when you have a must-win situation, they look okay, burn all the bridges. They are ready to even lose. No. But not take the chance that of opponent forcing a draw. So it's yeah. two kinds of approaches, and it depends on your own mentality and your style. So mm. for some people it works, and some people doesn't. You have to, have, I guess, play and figure it out for yourself. Yeah, and I assume that if one player has an approach for a must, like for a, a playing for a win, also in a must draw situation, the same approach applies. So if you want to, let's say, be um, objective, then you should be objective when you need to draw. If you want to make to be crazy, so to speak, then when you want to draw, if you're in a must draw situation, you can try to force it and so on. Yeah, I mean, oh, but that's probably a different topic. Yeah, it's different. much more complicated than, uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, it's just a matter, it's always a question of like taking the easy way uh, or, or just enjoying the game and trying to play a move by move. And, and uh, yeah, but it depends a lot on the situation, what the situation is. Yeah, so, okay. There's no right, like, like one right answer. Sometimes it won't work, sometimes it cannot. So yeah. there's no definitive answer. That's what I'm trying and to And which say. one is more fun to your view? Like... Uh, when when it works, <laughs> whatever works. That's that's the most fun. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that day when I played 97, I regretted the entire four hours. But sometimes it works as well. So yeah. who knows? So one day, uh, each one has to work out the answer for themselves. Yeah. yeah? Okay. I like the, the answer and uh, yeah, we appreciate uh, w uh, your time and uh, what you showed us today and uh, your insights and uh, yeah, we will probably are looking for an exciting last round, even though you already won the tournament, we expect very fighting chess yes. and uh, yeah, thank you very much uh, Santos Vidit and Odir Bek of the Sotorov, we will thank be you. back to you shortly after a short break.